How a sexless marriage impacts a woman. This is a huge topic. There are so many women going without sex. They don't talk about it. They're in significant pain. Uh, they have so many strong feelings about this. Well, that's our topic today. So if you've yet to subscribe to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. We have so much on this topic and so many others that can help your relationship. If you have a question, put it in the box. We'd love to hear from you. How a sexless marriage affects a woman is very, very unique and different from a man. A woman wants intimacy. Women generally want to be connected. And if you're watching this, you want intimacy. You want to be looked in the eyes. You want to be made love to. You want to be seen. You want to be heard. You want to know that your sex is good, that it's valued, uh, that it's not who you are. It's part of who you are. You want to be celebrated outside the bedroom and inside the bedroom. You want to be spiritually connected outside the bedroom, emotionally connected. You want your feelings heard and you want him to share his feelings with you. You want to feel that he trusts you with his heart and his feelings. These are all very normal and valid uh, desires for women. And when a man is immature because of his addictions, alcohol, drugs, sex, food, pornography, um, these are serious issues that can impact him sexually. If there is um, depression or if there's other issues, uh, personality disorders are what we call intimacy anorexia, which is the active withholding of spiritual and sexual intimacy from your wife. They're too busy for you. They blame you for problems in the relationship. Uh, I mean, they almost never say, I'm sorry, or I'm wrong. They withhold love, especially the way you want it. If you want to be touched, they withhold touch. If you want gifts, they withhold gifts. If you want time, they withhold time. Uh, they withhold praise from you. Uh, they are unwilling or unable to share their feelings with you. They're spiritually disconnected from you. They use anger or silence as a way to control you. They have ongoing or ungrounded criticism of you. And if this sounds like what you're living in, then you might want to do some research on intimacy and anorexia. And also we have several uh, books uh, on married and alone. And you also probably want to get the book Partner Betrayal Trauma because our research shows that a woman who is living with someone who neglects her through intimacy and anorexia and the lack of sex also has the same exact impact as someone who has been cheated on by infidelity or by pornography addiction. And so you're feeling PTSD symptoms, you're feeling not yourself, you're having depression, waking. These are all normal symptoms of being neglected. And if a man is neglecting you sexually, something's going on. Now, if he's a medical condition, you would understand that and be compassionate. But if he is having a masturbation addiction, because most likely he's masturbating, if you haven't asked him, ask him. Uh, there's a potential for pornography addiction being there as well, because they avoid real people because they're in the fantasy world. And there are lots of reasons why a man might be sexless in marriage. We have a great DVD that goes into great detail called Sexless and Married. Strongly encourage you to get that to find out what is going on. But your feelings of hurt, your feelings of rage, your feelings of wanting to be, to be validated, maybe outside the relationship, to, for someone to look at you, to find you beautiful. These are all normal feelings. Even the desire to want to be hugged and to be touched by a man. Normal desires. Now, infidelity is not a solution for a sexless marriage. Confronting the sexless marriage um, and confronting why you're staying in the marriage, why you're tolerating this behavior. You know, is it for convenience? Is it for uh, finances? Is it for the family? Is it for religious systems? What is your reason? Once you understand that, because we have a great DVD, Why Do I Stay When It Doesn't Make Sense? And if you've been living with intimacy and anorexia or any reasons why you're in a sexless marriage for years or decades, you want to do the work on your side, which is number one, get informed as to why this is going on. Number two, start addressing the issue. And number three, setting boundaries. Now, in, in, in step one, getting informed, you want to get support. We have uh, Facebook groups for married and alone. Uh, we have uh, counselors and coaches, as, as well as support groups that you can get into by calling our office at 719-278-3708. But let me be straight up with you, ladies. You're experiencing trauma. Neglect is trauma. No, you don't have the black eye and you don't have the, the bruises, but you are being beat up. Neglect, going to bed alone, being untouched, being unwanted is one of the hardest feelings day after day, year after year. You're in, and many times the women who come to my office, they've done five day intensives with men like this for the last 30 years. They're beautiful. 
They're attractive physically, they're uh, good-hearted, they're kind, they're sexually cooperative and fun and, and healthy. And the men are rejecting them because of the men's issue. Ladies, one of the things you do that is the most harmful for you, probably in the first several years of being in a sexless marriage, is blame yourself. It's not about your sex. It's not about your attitude. It's not about the house. It's not about anything but him. And if he, if he has a medical issue, he would, he would find a solution for that. There's lots of solutions. Um, this is pure pain. It is like not eating for a month and, and, and what it does to your body. That's what sexlessness does to your soul and to your spirit and to your own sexuality. Your own sexuality risks dying in a situation where it's not being fed, nurtured, or celebrated. And so your desire for this intimacy is legitimate. Now, the dysfunction that you're in is going to cause you to either medicate, adapt, or leave. Medication is the bad way to go. That's the alcohol. That's your, you know, getting into porn. That's you having infidelity. That's you acting out. That's you gaining 50 pounds or staying so fit that you can barely keep your schedule, right? That is that. Adapting uh, is, is similar in that you're, you're trying to, you know, create a life accepting the sexlessness um, having lots of friends you know get involved in social activities or religious activities or political activities to keep your mind off the fact that when you come home you're not wanted your beauty's not captivating not because it's not but because he's in a different place it's him that has the issue not you now, if you are also contributing by being an intimacy anorexic, like we talked about, and, uh, and always being in the negative place and, and all that kind of stuff, you know what, what you're contributing inside the marriage. Now, some of that is because of the pain. You're not yourself. You are hurt. You are angry. You are frustrated. You are deprived. And you're going to show up that way sometimes. And your anger is going to be disproportionate because of that. So here's what I encourage you to do. Definitely call my office. Get in a married and alone group. Get the sexless um, video, Sexless and Married. If he's willing to work on the sexual relationship, we have a great book called Upgrade Your Sex Life. It explains the five sexual expressions that he has one of those, he, you have one of those, and I guarantee you they're different. And he can start to understand what you want sexually. But if he's unwilling to go down these roads, then you're going to need counseling or coaching and support so that you can either stay and stay healthy or make decisions to set boundaries and do the things you need to do to have worth in this relationship. You're worthy of love. You're worthy of intimacy. You're worthy of a great sex life. And don't allow his neglect change how you think about you. You're precious. You're beautiful. Okay, this is not about you. Many times, and I've counseled for almost 40 years, these kinds of couples in sexless relationships, what the man has going on happened in his adolescence before he married you, whether it's abuse, whether it's sexual addiction, whether there's other issues, get the Sexless and Married DVD, find out what is going on, and then start addressing this. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you, and I hope that you do feel validated that this is not about you, and take the steps for you to have a better life.